Welcome to the Showstopper Show's Muster Bus. Today, I am comparing Pepsi Zero Sugar versus Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. Which one is better? Which has more caffeine? Which has ginseng? Stay tuned and let's see which one is a must or a bust. Must or bust. Right there at the beginning, I have both Pepsi Zero, I have Coke Zero. But what is the difference between these two? What really makes one stand out from the other one? Why would you grab one as opposed to the other? So for me, I do like drinking zero sugar drinks. Sprite Zero, the Pepsi Zero, the Coke Zero. I do like drinking all of those drinks. The biggest difference that I have noticed between the drinks is that they all have a better mix as opposed to diet drinks. Diet drinks, just, I don't know, the formula, the recipe, I don't know what it is, it's just not as good for me. If I drink a Diet Coke as opposed to a Coke Zero, I like the Coke Zero so much better. And the same with a Pepsi Zero versus Diet Pepsi. It's a different formula and they make it better. Eventually, I think they're going to phase some of those out, but they can't do it right now. I'm still waiting for Dr. Pepper to come out with a Dr. Pepper Zero, because I think that would be cool. Piv has one, but they don't mass produce it yet, so I can't even get it around where I'm at. Um, they do put it in some of the freestyle machines, but there you go. All right, so popping up on your screen is Pepsi first. Let me show you on there. First, you have 115 milligrams of caffeine in this bottle, plus you have ginseng root extract. So ding, 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 if you guess Pepsi from the beginning. And you can see it basically there's the mix of ingredients. It has about the same as Coke. The biggest difference for this Pepsi Zero is it has a lot more caffeine than the Coke Zero. So switching over to Coke Zero, as you see it there on your screen now, you have Coke Zero. It does not have ginseng root. It has 57 milligrams of caffeine for that bottle. So you're getting twice as much, more than twice as much caffeine in Pepsi Zero. Now here's a tidbit for you. Pepsi Zero originally came out as Pepsi Max. It was supposed to be the extra caffeine version with no sugar, the energy drink version of Pepsi. So we're gonna start with Coke Zero first. And there we go. And I'll tell you what I think about it. The aftertaste is huge. And just the overall uh, the, the overall flavor mixed with food is a big deal for me too. I want to feel like I'm drinking a Coke when I drink a Coke with my Big Mac, McDonald's, get Coke Zero, hurry soon. Their fountain beverages are the best. Can you imagine Coke Zero from McDonald's with their fountains? Please, let's taste this. Mm, tastes really good out of the bottle. Great flavor, yes, it's been sitting in my fridge all night. It's perfectly chilled, you see it even on the bottle right there. It's just a great, great flavor, that's good. And sitting here, there's a there's a tinge, a hint of a bit of an aftertaste, but it's nowhere near as, as bad, I would say, that's a good word for me to say, as Diet Coke. Coke Zero has better overall flavor, and it doesn't have that weird, nasty aftertaste the Diet Coke does. The reason they keep making it, there's so many people that have been used to drinking Diet Coke for so long, they can't, I, I, I can't switch. I'm used to it. So if you kind of just stop drinking regular Coke, which is what I did for a long time, you eventually are able to drink this and you really don't want to go back to the regular one. It, I tried to drink a regular Coke at, at my office and it just, it was too sweet for me. I couldn't even drink half of this 12 ounce bottle. This is good. That is a must. <laughs> Let's go over to Pepsi Zero. Now, like I said, more, there we go, more caffeine, plus it has the ginseng root extract added into this. So ginseng is an herb, basically, well, it can be bought in the herbal section of stores, and it is good for energy, so natural energy in this Pepsi. That's actually a plus for me right there. I already like that idea. No sugar, well, let's try this. Mmm, that's good. Mmm, that's really good. Now, it is a little more difficult to get Pepsi Zero as opposed to Coke Zero. I can go through the checkout line at Walmart and find both, but you, it's always it's sometimes harder to find the uh, 12 packs of these or even a two liter bottle at my stores. It's, it's a little less mass produced as opposed to the diet versions of these drinks. Even the stores that sell Pepsi products don't always have that. That has a good flavor. I, I guess the ginseng kind of helps with the flavor too, but my goodness, it is a good tasting zero drink. Not a bad aftertaste. And I don't drink Pepsi very often anyway, so drinking this 
kind of reminds me of just Pepsi. It's that, that little bit more carbonation, just a tad more than Coke does. And for me, that's what it, that's, it's a little more bubbly. Let's put it that way. And I still get that consistency is a little bit more than this one. So, but I got to tell you, I do like both of them. But if I, if, if I had the opportunity to get 12 packs of Pepsi Zero, I might mix it up a little more. I might have both in my fridge. But for the most part, I'm going with Coke Zero, just the tint. And even the bottles are like a little bit, one is shorter than the other, which is Pepsi Zero. It's a little wider, a little shorter. I'm picking Coke by that much. It's like by the uh, half the lid. That's how much I'm picking Coke Zero over Pepsi Zero. But if I need a little more caffeine, if I want a little bit more of a jolt, I'm reaching for Pepsi Zero. And if you ever go somewhere and you're like, man, I, I, I don't just want water, but I need something else that's carbonated, grab these drinks, I promise they're good. Now, every time I do a video on a, on a drink that has aspartame in it, I gotta hit that one too and hit that information. If you Google information about aspartame, you can read negatives, you can read things that aren't so negative, you can read things that are for, uh, sometimes positive. What I would tell you is don't do everything. If you're gonna drink a drink like this, don't drink like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 a day. You got to be careful that there's still acid in these drinks. There's still things in here that you don't need to be drinking all the time. It's something to grab for if you don't want all that sugar and have to try to burn off those calories. At the same time, do it in moderation, folks. Have a bottle, like, okay, I got a bottle here. That's all you need for the day. Drink water after this. I love unsweetened tea. It's one of my favorites. Drink some LaCroix. Drink some other options out there. You don't have to just drink one drink all of the time. That's the beauty of living in America, guys. There's a lot of choices out there. So reach out and grab them. Again, if you think aspartame is bad, if you think it gives you, if it's not good for you, don't drink it by any stretch. If you're not, you don't have a problem with it, don't overdo it. Do it in moderation. And what I've seen a lot of reports, like more than four a day is bad, four servings. So there you go. That's my review of Pepsi Zero versus Coke Zero. Which one is better? You know what, they're both really good. And so I'm not picking one, except I am picking Coke over this just by a slight edge. I'm a big Coke fan. I love Coke and I think they, they've done it right. Pepsi has stepped up their game. They had already had like an energy drink version and then decided to call it a zero version. That's okay with me. Mountain Dew Zero, also a good flavor if you're looking for that as well. If you still like Mountain Dew, but don't want a ton of sugar like Mountain Dews have. Again, drink in moderation. You and your drinks will last longer. You don't want to go to the fridge and you just had Bo comes over to watch the game and now you don't have any Cokes because you drink them all on Friday. And now it's Sunday and you forgot to go to the, sco go to the store yesterday. Come on. By the way, Chiefs, Ravens tonight. Go Chiefs. And I, I got them winning this game by at least 10. I think they're going to win by 10. And that's my hope. But a win is a win for me. I'll take any W. Because there's no, who cares about power rankings in the NFL? I don't. Guys, thanks for watching the show. Stuff shows. Don't forget to subscribe. May the forks be with you. May his presence be with you. Always put a bow on this Coke Zero show. Because that's a wrap. Show stops here. Never quit y'all. All right, which one do I want to drink with lunch? I'm going to go with any, any, uh, one of these. I don't know which. I'll let you know some other time. Maybe. Who cares? <laughs>